Okay, it's seven o'clock. Let's start. So good evening. Welcome, everybody. <coughs> Normally, Vidya Mala Birch leads the session, as you know, and she wasn't available this evening. So I'm standing in for her, a per substitute, I know, but uh, you'll just have to make the best of it. We're going to be meditating for about 25 minutes. Welcome, everybody. <coughs> Oh. Normally, Vidya Mala Birch leads the session, as you know, and she wasn't available this evening, so I'm standing in for her, a per substitute, I know, but uh, you'll just have to make the best of it. We're going to be meditating for about 25 minutes. Welcome. The Amala Birch leads the session, as you know, and she wasn't available this evening, so I'm standing in for her, a per substitute, I know, but um, you'll just have to make the best of it. We're going to be meditating for about 25 minutes. Welcome. Karen, is that your audio? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just checking to see, because everyone else should be muted. standing in for her, a per substitute, I know, but, can anyone else hear Karen's audio? Someone let me know in the chat. Yes, thanks, Ruth. Okay. Audio? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just checking to see, because everyone else should be muted. Karen, let me just try muting you and then uh, unmute again. Okay, rub your mouth. Someone let me know. Okay, Karen, I'm just going to unmute you again or ask you to unmute. Let's see if it happens again. Karen, let me just try muting you and then uh, unmute again. Okay. <laughs> Have you got any browser windows open, Karen? We are streaming to um, YouTube. I'm just wondering if you've got another browser window open. Unmute. Let's see if it happens again. Muting you and then uh, <laughs> okay. Have you got any browser windows open, Karen? We are streaming to Yes, it is a little funny, isn't it? Just while we're waiting for Karen to come back, um as uh they were mentioning a few moments ago, Vigiman is not here this evening, but they have asked me if I would be um uh, prepared to just let everyone know about the masterclass which is taking place on Thursday with Rick Hansen. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen for a moment. And hopefully everyone can see my screen. If somebody could let me know, that would be helpful. Lovely. Thank you, Alison. Lovely. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate all those yeses. So, yeah. So as I was mentioning a moment ago, um, we're offering a, um, a masterclass with Rick Hansen. The event's taking place this Thursday from nine o'clock till eight o'clock in the evening. And this is a wonderful opportunity uh, for anyone who's interested in the neuroscience of well-being either for themselves or for communicating the benefits of mindfulness to others. And we will be recording the event. So if you did decide to purchase a ticket and you can't join us live, we will send you the recordings. And just to mention as well that all proceedings from the workshop will go towards the Breathworks charity. And there's a sliding price scale with an optional donation for anyone who would be um, happy to support one person attending the event on a bursary. So I'm just going to put all that in the uh, in the chat in case anyone wants to have a look at the link. And I'll also do the same for our lovely participants on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'll stop sharing the screen now. And hopefully Karen will be back with us in a few moments.
just to let everyone know as well, uh, in case anyone joined us, us a little later, that I will add that back into the chat towards the end of our time together this evening. And hopefully Karen will join us again in a few moments. So just please bear with us while we try to address these technical issues we're experiencing this evening. So we're just still waiting for Karen to um, come back into the meeting room. Hopefully she won't be much longer now. Again, if you would just all bear with us for a few more moments. Thank you. Hey, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you fine now, and there's no echo. <laughs> so, Karen, just to let you know, I've just... Um, just brought people's awareness about the Rick Hansen Masterclass, which is taking place this Thursday. Thanks very much, Mark. You're very welcome. Apologies, everybody, for the technical difficulties. No doubt it was something I was doing. Can I... Uh, my suggestion is, because we're running a little bit late now, if you don't mind, I'll run on until 20 to 8 uk time so it'll still be half an hour and if you need to leave before then because of your commitments that's fine but i'll just keep going so that you still get your half an hour meditation is that okay thumbs up from various people perfect okay i'm just going to switch my phone back to flight mode and my invitation to everybody just as we're getting uh you're welcome just as we're getting started is take a little couple of minutes to make yourself comfortable. So whatever that might be for you. I have a, a big cushion that I'm going to rest my arms on. I'm going to stay in the sitting posture. You might need something that would help you to just support the weight of your arms. Uh, you might want to wrap something around your waist so that you could just rest your arms on that. 
You might need a cushion like I have for behind your back if your spine needs support. And you might need to just make sure that you've got the space that you need from whatever desk you might be sitting in front of so you're not bumping up against any hard, sharp surfaces. If you have a cough or a tickly throat, take a moment to get yourself a glass of water. And if you hadn't managed to go to the loo before now, go to the toilet, make yourself comfortable, come back and just drop in wherever we are with the guidance. If you're cold where you are, have a little blanket or a shawl or whatever to cover your legs so that when you're sitting here for half an hour, you might get cold. Or if you're lying down, you might get a bit cold. So have something nearby that you can pull over yourself to be warm. <clears throat> and of course, if at any point the posture you've chosen becomes uncomfortable, I'd really encourage you See what you need, check in what you need. And if you need to lie down, if you need to stand up, if you need to turn a little bit or have a stretch and then sit still again, you're the expert in you. So take the time to make yourself as comfortable as possible. And if that becomes uncomfortable in 15 minutes, change your posture. And do that whenever you're meditating. You're, that's my permission to everybody. Make yourself comfortable. If you're wearing glasses, I'd encourage you to take your glasses off and just put them somewhere nearby where they'll be nice and safe. And what I did a little bit earlier, just so that there was a nice smell, I had some essential oil and I put some on my hands and I put some on a little tissue on the heater so there's a nice smell nearby. And if you're happy to, if you're all settled and ready to begin, I'd encourage you to close your eyes if you'd like to do that. If you'd rather not, for whatever reason, then just let your gaze rest unfocused somewhere. So it can be just in front of your knees or you can just follow the line down past your nose. And you're not really looking at anything. For some people, that's much more comfortable. It feels safer to do that wherever they might be, that might feel more appropriate for them. I thought I'd start us off with the blessing. This is from John O'Donoghue called For Presence. Awaken to the mystery of being here and enter the quiet immensity of your own presence. Have joy and peace in the temple of your senses. Receive encouragement when new frontiers beckon. Respond to the call of your gift and the courage to follow its path. Let the flame of anger free you from all falsity. May warmth of heart keep your presence aflame. May anxiety never linger about you. May your outer dignity mirror an inner dignity of soul. Take time to celebrate the quiet miracles that seek no attention. Be consoled in the secret symmetry of your soul. May you experience each day as a sacred gift woven around a heart of wonder. And just allow yourself to breathe in slowly and exhale slowly, noticing if there's a little pause between the exhale and the next inhalation. Maybe notice what are the sounds that you can hear in the soundscape around you.
might be very quiet. There might be noises, sounds coming and going. Exterior noises, interior noises in the building or within yourself, your own body. And we're just letting them come and go. That's what they're doing anyway, and we're not holding on to them. If you notice your mind telling a story about them, that noticing the mind is a moment of mindfulness. And then see if you can let go of the sounds. And instead, just notice what's present for you in your experience at this moment. Is there any tension anywhere in the body? Are you making any effort anywhere? Where are the usual places that you hold tension? in your shoulders, or your hands clasping each other. Are your legs tightly together or are your feet kind of gripping the shoe, the sole of your shoe or the floor? Are your jaws clenched? Is there a frown on your face or is your tongue pushed up against the roof of your mouth? Are you pulling in your tummy? Or are the buttocks clenched? The calves, are they tense? If you notice any effort anywhere there, just let your attention rest there and allow yourself to notice your breath there. might notice your shoulders rising and falling slightly with the in and the out breath. Or you might notice cool air gently grazing the back of your tongue as it flows down the airways into the lungs and flows back out again through the nose. Let your feet be a little bit wider apart, your legs be a little wider apart. And hands rest, one on each thigh or knee or at your sides if you're lying down, palms facing upwards. And maybe let your tongue just rest there on the floor of your mouth. You can waggle your jaw a little bit. Unlock the muscles of the face, the lower part of the head, around the neck. If you like, you can, if you're wearing trousers or you have a waistband, you can just open that button or loosen that zip or push the waistband down and just notice the belly rising and falling swelling and subsiding on the in and the out breath. Surrender to whatever surface your body is resting on chair, a sofa, a mattress or the floor. With each breath out, let go.
one that maybe notices there anything snagging your attention, pulling your attention away. It might be a physical discomfort. It might be a sound outside, somebody in the building or somewhere else. It might be a train of thought that just keeps taking you away again and again. Or it might be an emotion, a feeling. You can, if you like, place your hand over your heart to just tune into that a little bit more closely. Breathe in and breathe out again and just listen to yourself. What's here now? turning towards whatever that is with that attitude of mindfulness, that curiosity. No judgment, just compassion, interest. Do you need to roll your shoulders a little bit and let them drop fully, being supported by the armrests? Do you need to lean back into the back of the chair, into the cushion? Is there some tightness around a discomfort or pain? that you could perhaps soften around. Breathe into it, imagine your breath flowing there. Whether that's a, a physical, an emotional, a mental feeling. Remember what it's like sometimes to be in a beam of sunlight, to feel that warmth on your skin, the pleasure of that. How we seem to somehow open like the petals of a flower in sunlight to that, to relax a little bit into it. Imagine that the warmth of your compassionate attention is like that towards whatever that discomfort is, that pain, that feeling, that thought. And allow that warmth to suffuse your entire body, your entire being. With each breath in and out, flowing to every cell, every part of your body, every part of your being. And if your attention wanders, or if you get a little bit sleepy and you drift away, whenever you notice that, just come back to wherever the guidance is now, again and again, as often as you need to. If there's a little niggling voice that says, I'm not doing this right, or this is too hard, just maybe placing your hand on your heart and just encouraging yourself to just keep going, just keep listening, keep following along. And 
And then maybe take a moment to notice all the different contact points where you can feel your body being supported by whatever surface is underneath you. The seat of the chair, the backrest, the cushions under your head or the floor under your feet. Noticing if the texture is soft or firm, hard or really, really supporting you in the right places. And if you need to move, remember, that's okay. You can. Adjust your posture. If you notice you're slouching or your spine is starting to collapse, you can just lengthen it a little bit. If your shoulders rise again or your jaw clenches automatically, when you notice that, all little moments of mindfulness. You might notice your feet, wherever they are. They might be warm or cold or neutral, or they might even be a little bit numb. Just noticing whatever sensation is there. And if that feels tricky for you, that you can't really feel your feet, just gently move your toes, lift them up or point them away, lift your heels up and let them rest down. You can do those little movements in time with your breath. And then let them be still again. Noticing if there's anything else that you can feel now, pulsing or tingling, throbbing or fizzling, or even a sense of the shape of your feet, your toes, the soles, the arch, the top of the feet, the sides of the feet, the heels. Noticing if you're more aware of one than the other. Or maybe you have the memory of a foot or a foot moving, a limb or a limb moving. But just checking in, what does it feel like now? Now when we're at rest, we're not standing or walking or weight bearing, there's no compression or friction. Maybe just the sensation of clothes, layers of clothes, footwear, coming up through the ankles, up along the lower legs, past the shins and the calves, up into the knees, noticing the fronts of the knees, the outer sides, the inner sides and the backs of the knees. They might be bent at a 90 degree angle or a softer angle than that, or maybe they're out straight. Maybe you can feel the seams of the clothes that you're wearing or wrinkles. Or maybe you can feel the tendons at the back of the knees. That soft, sensitive tissue. 
Maybe you could feel the weight of your hands there or a pillow. Coming along the backs of the thighs, you might notice whatever the surface is that you're resting underneath them. Maybe there's a gap between the back of your knees and the edge of the chair. Your the back of your thighs might feel a little bit squashed. A little push of gravity against that surface. Just noticing the length of those bones and those long muscles coming through the joints, along the legs, up into the torso. Maybe those are areas that are sometimes uncomfortable for you. Just checking in now that you're at rest, that you're not walking, you're not standing, not having to do anything. How do those joints feel? those muscles. Noticing how those thigh muscles flow up into the torso, at the back, at the sides, the insides, up into the front, the abdomen, up into the pelvic floor. The whole body interconnected. Can you feel the sitting bones, the tailbone, the back of the pelvis, the front of the pelvis. And that spine continuing on along, up the torso all the way to the neck and the head, out at the sides to the shoulder blades, at the front to the collarbone and the arms, resting against your body or on your lap or on your belly. I wonder, are you able to notice the body breathing itself? Where is that movement palpable for you? Is it in your tummy, your pelvic floor? Is it in the spine or along the back anywhere? The rib cage or your armpits? In your waist or your belly, just where it meets the diaphragm or the breastbone? I wonder if you can feel your heart beating there in the slightly left of center in your chest. That echo of the breath, pumping oxygen, hot oxygenated nutrient laden blood all over the body. Where else can you feel the echoes of that in your pulse, in your elbow joints or your wrists, maybe in your fingertips? Maybe even in the tip of your nose. And I wonder, is there anything in this moment that feels pleasant for you? Really give yourself a couple of moments to discover, to explore. Is it the weight of the blanket? Is it the warmth in your toes, your hands? the softness of the cushion. Just this being here with this lovely group of people being guided in a practice, this, just this time that you're giving yourself to practice. Is any of this pleasant, this voice that you can hear? Is 
there's silence. Maybe there's a feeling of being calm. Even if there's a little discomfort somewhere, maybe there's also a pleasant sense of connection. Or maybe the mind has become a little quieter. Those persistent thoughts just in the background for the moment. Maybe you've had a cold or a cough recently and you're feeling better. And that feels pleasant to be on the mend, to be resting your bones. Maybe you can hear a bird outside or rainfall or the sea. Maybe a lovely memory, an image has popped into your mind's eye. Allow yourself to stay with this pleasant experience, whatever it might be, through whichever of your senses. Just this being here, being alive, being with community. Being treasured. Just this breath. going to begin to bring this practice to a close, but keeping your eyes shut just for another minute while I read one more blessing from John O'Donoghue called For Belonging. May you listen to your longing to be free. May the frames of your belonging be generous enough for your dreams. May you arise each day with a voice of blessing whispering in your heart. May you find a harmony between your soul and your life. May the sanctuary of your soul never become haunted. May you know the eternal longing that lives at the heart of time. May there be kindness in your gaze when you look within. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May you allow the wild beauty of the invisible world to gather you, mind you, and embrace you in belonging. I'm just gently beginning to Move the body softly, gently in time with your breath, maybe wriggling your fingers and your toes. 
moving your hands or your feet in small circles. Maybe having a stretch or rolling your shoulders. If you're lying down, maybe pulling your feet towards you and rocking your knees from side to side. And as we bring this to a close, deciding to take this feeling with you into the rest of the evening, into whatever you're doing next, into your sleep, and into tomorrow. Thanks very much, everybody. It's always lovely to see you. See you again. There's community of practice meditations. There's a meditation clinic in April. You're welcome to all of these events and you'll find them in the, the community of practice website. Oh, my pleasure. That you're welcome. You're welcome. If you want to unmute yourself to say farewell or hello to any friends, feel free to do that by any means. Thank, Thank you, so Karen. Much. It was lovely. Thanks, Karen. See you Thank later. you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Karen. Bye. Thank you, Karen. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so Bye. much, Karen. Be oh, kind to yourselves. Bye, yes. everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Uh, you sound good. Thanks a million. Thank you, Karen. Um, Karen, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love John O'Donoghue as well. Me too. Oh, I've got one of his books and I just read it and reread it. It's just wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Check out his YouTube videos. There's some fantastic oh. interviews. Yeah, well oh. worth listening to, inspiring stuff. Oh, great. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. See ya. John, about... Oh, sorry.